Will had a question. Oh, wait, no, he already asked it. I mean, what? You, no, hold on. Bro, they're leg comparisons. You can tell she got some thighs. Just give him the shield. I like your cut, G. Here's what she proclaimed. <laughs> now she got quiet because Will came back and then like, I guess you couldn't heal her and she, yeah. Ah, uh, still, right now? She's still here? Damn. That I don't mind. I'm just saying why she's AFK. Hey yo, no 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 no, drop the bomb. Crying. The sun is shining. Time to get the Oni Kabuto out for some training. Come on, little guy. Let's go. I hope you don't think you're safe, boy. I was saying, don't think you're safe, boy. I want that bomb. Oh, damn. Aww. Very blunt bomb. Fuck. 
Fair enough. I mean, I'm broke. I'm here for details. I'm trying to freaking milk all the details out of you when you come into the party. And you, you care about his food? I care about his relationship. Ah. <laughs> Any. What's that freaking uh, picture, Will? Will? The one where it's like... It's not the Batman one, it's the other one. Oh boy, wow, it's really starting to pick up. Uh, quick, come on, get yours out. Come on, come on, go, 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 No, it was like a long time ago, but yeah. Spencer got mad because Alex was saying that she was bringing the party down with her depresso stories and then she got mad and texted him and like if you're gonna talk crap say it to my face and then that whole thing happened oh that was an error why is it still raining no there's some other movie Took you long enough shaking my head. Excuse me. I was 30 minutes late. No, his response was, you dumbass bitch, I'm at a party. I didn't text him anymore because I got pissed off. minutes late listen you appreciate me right honestly I'm down to watch the movie again it was really fun No draw Graham Luck, Freddy pregnant. Excuse him, what? I don't have that drawing talent. Okay, I will. Wait, hold on. Is it from her? The beautiful, glorious? Probably just WTF. Could you help me? Excuse him. Uh, hold on, hold on. Help you with what? It's about Genshin. I didn't do it. One of my commissions is somewhere around here. Which quest to do since shining. I want to do Sumeru? Come on, little guy, let's go. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are you serious? I think you have to do all the Archon quests because, like, there's events and shit, but you have to do the Archon quests and then you have to level up your uh, world level in order to get two different regions in Genshin. Yes, Moon. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean, never? Well, I mean, yeah, the Archon Quest is gonna take, like, forever, but it's the Archon Quest, the main storyline, you know? It's fun. <laughs> Delete Genshin, come on, Normium. Your girl don't discriminate. If it's a good body, I'm gonna look at it real quick. It's a male, right? I'll take a peek, respectfully. Anything below the belt, though? I'm, I'm not looking. Add Astra Abyssoth. Thank you for coming. Man, I hate stories. I just want to see furry girls in muscle, man. Um. <laughs> I hate to burst your bubble, but uh, if you don't, like, listen, right now the five star is Tainari. If you pull for Tainari and get him, you won't be able to ascend him because you can't unlock Sumeru. You know what I mean? So, kind of have to do the Archon quest and you kind of have to level up your account. Hey, don't be verbaling abusing Vib. You know what I mean? Don't, don't abuse Catherine with your words. She's just doing her job. Now let's actually get into the event. Which one is it? Which one is it? Uh. This mirror looks fucking beautiful. Alright, I have a teleport waypoint absolutely nowhere near there. Coolio, dude! Alright, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to walk walk. I want the girl, not Tainari. Kalei. Mmm. It's the same thing with Kalei too, because Kalei uses uh the items within Sumeru, so Kalei's okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, but no, I'm not gonna ranch too hard. Hmm? Kale is fine. I like. I oh, forgot you called Genshin Weeb Simulator. Now right, let's actually get to Sumeru City. Can we cheat and go through this mountain? Absolutely. Mm, I don't want to go that way. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take the scenic route because. Yeah. I don't wanna. Oh, there's a chest right here. If I shall be like. Attack me now or forever hold your violence? I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, never mind. Let's 
deeper going. I should freaking pull out Ayaka instead of. Well, no, because then we don't have a healer. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll keep this close. <laughs> Kill me. Listen, I can't do that. That's not very uh, guideline friendly of me. A win game? Then yeah, yeah. <gasps> this bitch. There's a sigil over here. Thank you. Is this an answer from this world? And that's how you snipe a sigil. I didn't even get into combat with these guys. No <laughs> waits for friend requests. Um. Oh fuck it, what world level are you? Because we can grind domains together. I do need to build Deluxe, so yeah, that will be a good thing to do on the off days. How about that? Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell was that? I'm under level. Damn. depends if you want to um, grind up the level to do domains but if not you know I'll be here still streaming they may or may not be bad at the game you know this an answer from this world? I don't believe you're bad at the game you just don't have um, enough experience Let's call it that. Yeah. I'm only level thirty eight. Level thirty eight is not bad, yeah. actually. Is it? Oh, there he- okay.
Life goes on. Imagine being AR fifty seven. Hush, hush. That's what exploring gets you, Moon. I want to go into it more, but my only friend who plays it never wants to play. What the hell is this? What the hell is that? Hey, yo! Trigon C, it's just that the tray and something you have normal, scorched, and activated for him. Can you reveal it? Stop moving. I'm a normal. They're removed. Well, what do they? What do they do? What the fuck? That's odd. What the fuck? I got it? What? And it's alive again. Alright, let's get back to that. Kind of scary things there are. I mean, uh, you can go right ahead. There's nothing too scary. Actually, nothing at all. It's just art and more art and some more art. Just lots of art. Is that it? Is that music, man? <laughs> Wait, are you actually looking at it right now? Yes, that is Music Man. A draw. Listen, I, I don't have that much to point. For we are drawing no characters for Ganonant today. I would. I bet, but Alright. Can't catch me. Will we actually make it to goddamn Sumero City? Cause I keep getting distracted. Speaking of oh, Actually, let's just glide across and we stop being lazy. I'm not gonna talk about my recent art. I'm about to go look. <laughs> Alex. What you doing, buddy? Can you? do some art searching for me can normium do you have a link tree that my very very great and lovely friend that i appreciate very much will do this for me <laughs> i, I want to see if you could go through normium's account and see if you can find his most recent art because i'm curious now Oh wait! <laughs> it's a connect. Whoa! What? Oh, lit! A door that opens by itself? Advanced. I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> Can't catch me. Treasure Street. Now this... 
Oh my god, this is like a whole new fucking city right now. Let me get that teleport waypoint. Still processing it. I was supposed to come in a sumeru the opposite way, so this is all basically spoiler. Great job. Yes, Normium. Ow. I may not have a link tree, but I have Twitter. moment please you two it appears this is your first time visiting sumeru city oh yeah that's right but how did you know that bro look at us of course they know we haven't been here because there's currently no information on either of you in the akasha but no need to worry that won't prevent you from entering the city in fact the academia conveniently provides each traveler to sumeru city with a device perhaps you two have heard of the akasha before it's our beloved greater Lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy, a treasure trove of collected knowledge. Wow. After centuries of tireless research on the Akasha, the Academia created one of its most ingenious inventions, the Akasha Terminal. As long as you are within Sumeru's borders, you may use an Akasha Terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. I should mention that due to technical limitations, the operation of Akasha terminals will be much smoother and more effective in large cities such as Sumeru City and Port Ormos. Oh, so this is the thing that Tainari was telling us about. It sounds pretty amazing. You two are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. Here are your Akasha terminals. Please handle them with care. They just give them away? Okay, Sumeru. <laughs> it kind of looks like a leaf. It's not that funny, Paimon. To activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. If this little doodad lets you access knowledge, maybe we can use it to find a way to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Do, wait, do I have to say that too? No thanks. <gasps> Whoa. Just now, something clicked, and Paimon suddenly knew how to use this thing. Seems all we need to do is concentrate on what we want to know, and BAM! You get it! Oh, that'll come in real handy! Exactly! That is the power of the Akasha! And with that, let me officially welcome you both to Sumeru City! May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon always be your guide! That was creepy as hell. Okay, now that we're in, we can check the Akasha about Lesser Lord Kusanali! Let Paimon try! Hmm. <gasps> 500 years ago, the sages found a newly born deity from within some scorched ruins. The deity now resides in the sanctuary of Suristana. Hmm. Seems pretty similar to what Kali was telling us. Okay, next, let's concentrate on asking how to meet her. Hmm. Uh. Huh? Uh, Paimon doesn't sense anything. The Akasha didn't respond to Paimon's question. Same thing happened to me. Oh, come on! Ugh. Focusing on this question feels like when you have something you're trying to remember and it's on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't think of it. Ugh. Paimon's brain is exhausted. What'd you say? Yeah, uh, Normium said he has a Twitter. To wear on Twitter. <laughs> oh, just ask him. Ha, Paimon? Brain? When? 
Um, I'll try asking Akasha something else. Maybe I'll indirectly find more information about Kusanali. Yep, 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 yep. Let's do the second option. Oh, smart idea. But what are you going to ask it? History? Uh, last known whereabouts? Any fucking thing? Think. Why doesn't the Akasha answer my question? That's not gonna lead nowhere. Think Lesser Lord Kusanali. Think Greater Lord Ruka Devada. Um. Think about Greater Lord, I guess? Many bright dots of light appeared in my mind. I probably need to calm my mind and focus more to understand what they mean. Feelings of affection, intimacy, hold the fuck on. Nostalgia, sadness, and anxiety also come to my mind. These seem to be what the people of Sumeru feel about their departed Archon. Uh oh. Iman's getting all teary eyed all of a sudden. It feels like the people of Sumeru really miss their Archon. Think why does the Akasha why doesn't the Akasha answer my question? I think Lesser Lord Kusunali. Let's think of Lesser Lord. Some knowledge began to trickle into my mind for a moment, but there wasn't really anything that I didn't already un- Well, we're gonna skip that. That was trash. That's it?! Hmm. You too? Well, glad it's not just Paimon. Think, why doesn't the Akasha answer my question? A vague thought suddenly comes to mind. The Akasha doesn't unconditionally respond to every query. Also, even if the same query is requested by multiple people, the Akasha still imparts knowledge based on each person's identity, age, experiences, and other demographics. Huh. Could it be because we're outlanders and we've only just arrived in Sumeru? You know, maybe we're not qualified to receive an answer to this sort of question or something. Why not? Did something sensitive happen? <sighs> well, seems no matter which way we try, we can't find anything that'll lead us to Lesson Lord Kusanali. Hmm. Guess our only choice now is to try meeting with the researcher that Tainari recommended. He's from Sumeru and even has a position in the academia. Maybe he'll be able to access more info from the Akasha. That's really hope so. on the letter's envelope. Oh, it's not far from the city's gate. Let's head over and have a look. Hopefully he's at home. Hello, are you Rohawi? Yes, that's me. Can I help you? Alright, you have a good night. Oh, don't worry, Normium. Alex is my handy dandy helper. He's just gonna look into your uh, recent art for me, cause I cannot look at the moment. I'm trying to get us uh, good clips of the uh, dialogue without cutting too much. I'm basically lazy. What? Tainari? Yes, sir. Tainari. I uh, please. Th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my best work, and maybe the data didn't produce the most convincing results, but... I think you misunderstood us. We're not here to discuss academics. Here! This is a letter from Tainari! Oh, let me see... Ah! Oh, what a relief. You two nearly scared the life out of me. So, you two just have some questions for me? Yeah. Seems even Tainari acknowledges my innate ability for procuring information. So, what is it you two would like to know? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Ah, uh, this isn't exactly my area of expertise, but let me see what I can find in the Akasha. Hmm. Sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. Well, no shit, that's what we just did! What? You too? But what about your abilities for getting information and all that? Uh, I'm 
was sure you'd be able to access more info than we did. You see that face the traveler's making? That's the exact face that I'm making right now. Like, why the fuck would you just let him ask the same exact question that we asked? Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. I am but a lowly researcher. So the Akasha doesn't see a need for me to know more about the Dendro Archon. Oh? It doesn't see a need for you to know. So then who... Who has the need to know? I need to know that. All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, she's never left the Sanctuary of Sorostana or made a public appearance. To be such a mysterious figure. The Dendro Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Perhaps she just doesn't want to entertain visitors, which would explain the lack of information in the Akasha. Aww, but then what can we do? <laughs> no need to worry just yet. I'm only hypothesizing here. You could certainly try asking around and see if anyone else has ideas. And besides, you two should consider the bright side of things. Not being able to see Lesser Lord Kusanali may not be a bad thing. Bro, we need Lesser Lord. We, we need Kusanali real quick. In this world, there will always be information you cannot obtain from the Akasha and things you can never accomplish. Knowing when to yield is a form of wisdom. Did he just elegantly tell me to give up? Take me, for example. It's a miracle if my brain cells can spit out one paper every three years. But Tainari? That guy can publish three papers in just a single year. Uh, okay. Thanks for your advice. Don't mention it. If you two ever want information about things like who's been promoted within the academia or relations between the six great sages, come find me. So by area of expertise, you meant this kind of stuff? Hey, come on! This is a survival skill at the academia. Survival skill at the academia. Aww. Paimon's expectations were pretty low, but this is so low it's like digging holes in the dirt. So what do we do now? Even if we want to talk to someone, we don't know anybody here! No. There's still one other person we know. Huh? Like who? Oh, Catherine! Oh, you're right! Catherine! The Adventurer's Guild has its own intel network! Let's hurry and find her! I forgot that she goes to every single city in existence. Let's go. Watch out. Or what, bro? Or what, bro? Uh oh. Watch out for pickpockets. Are there lots of thieves? With the core of 30 around, pickpockets wouldn't dare come around often. But there could be inside jobs. If you see someone who looks exactly like me, watch your wallet. He's my twin brother, a petty thief who talks nonsense all the time. Don't let him rub off on you. Just keep an eye on his actions. You all look pretty much the same. That's even easier. Don't trust anyone. You'll pay the price someday if you let your guard down around people in uniforms. Well, that was not what I was expecting. Alright, anyway. Should I walk or should I actually run? Yeah, let's actually... I use Ito because he's the fastest, but like, come on now. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. Hello, Catherine. Catherine, we need your help with something. Understood. The Adventurers Guild is always ready to serve you. With what do you require assistance? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. Please wait. Are you actually a computer, bitch? Like, what was that? I apologize, but I am unable to call up any relevant information in the Akasha. I'm also unable to locate any pertinent information in my personal memory. Aww, another dead end. 
Well, if Catherine can't help us, then we really don't know anyone else to ask now. Literally rather Inazuma? What do you mean by that, Normia? No, Sumeru citizens are assholes? Yeah, they are. Well, I mean, they're snobby at best. Forgot I was banned on Twitter for a second. Hold on. Oof. What did you do? Please do not worry. I may know of someone who can help you two. In Sumeru, the Adventurous Guild does not serve as the vanguard of information. Rather, there are numerous active mercenary groups collectively known as the Aramites. The Aramites. They take on various contracts and work all across Sumeru, so they naturally accrue intelligence. And don't ask questions you don't want to know. Okay, Norium. I'm sorry. An Aramite brigade called the Corps of Thirty is in charge of Sumeru City's defenses. Not only are they the oldest brigade, but they are responsible for managing and coordinating the affairs of all other mercenary brigades. Corps of Thirty? What a weird name. This, it happened again. I got distracted and I found out something that I was supposed to find out just now. I just talked to a guy who's part of the Corps of Thirty. Supposedly, they are named as such because their ranks numbered 30 at their inception. Osvond, an advisor with the Corps of Thirty, maintains good relations with the Adventurer's Guild. Though he's already retired, he and his words carry great weight within mercenary circles. If you'd like to get in contact with him, you can find him at the Core of Thirty's headquarters, the Citadel of Regzar. Thanks a bunch, Catherine. You're welcome. I wish you two the best of luck. We look forward to your exploits in Sumeru. Yeah, she knows. I'm about to go in here and fuck shit up. Night oh, is that a glaze lily? Nope. Can't catch me. Another city growing plant. I was gonna say gorgeous, but that's not like the leeway views I usually get. The Adventurer's Guild told me to expect you to. It's nice to meet you, Asfan. We'd like to ask you about something. I see. So, Catherine's the one who sent you this way. Ha! <laughs> it's true that the Aramite's network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Okay, side note. I see you ass fond with the melanin. Thank you, Genshin. Wait, seriously? That's it? Haha, <laughs> right so. The Aramites aren't terribly religious, so we don't know much about divinities. As far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than you. We originally came from the desert. The gods there died off long ago. Since those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. It isn't just us, though. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in lesser lord Kusanali. They got balls, then, if we can have that type of superiority. It's lesser lord for a reason. Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Although they believe in gods, most of them only care for the late, greater Lord Rugadavada. I see. I see what he's throwing down. In their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with Greater Lord Rukadavada and hold her in greater esteem. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance, and the Academia never announces anything about her. 
As far as the people of Sumero are concerned, she's just a god that exists. And that's all. That's crazy. How much of the story are you going to do? Um, about like an hour's worth, I guess. And then for... I'm actually not sure why it's banned on Twitter. Um... I don't... There's three acts. Well, shit. If we can finish act one, I guess, that's progress. Well, probably don't feel too bad. She's probably a hermit anyway. Ha. But who knows? We're all just guessing when it comes down to it. Besides, I'm sure the God of Wisdom doesn't worry about her reputation among people like us. All right. Well, thanks for the info, Osman. <laughs> no problem. Always happy to help out the Adventurers Guild. After leaving the Citadel of Regzar, you questioned several people in Sumero City. <sighs> Seems Osfond was right about most people's attitudes here. Not only are they not interested in the Dendro Archon, they even say stuff like, If the Akasha doesn't think I should know, then I don't need to know about it. We've been asking for information non-stop ever since we got to Sumeru. But the harder we try, the more helpless everything seems. Isn't there at least one person in this entire city who cares about Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? Thank fucking god, because I swear to god if we have to go around and do some bullshit to find out the information. From the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. You've been asking around for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dunyarzad, one of Lesser Lord Kusanali's faithful followers. Yes! Yes! Whoa, really? Then do you know how we can meet with her? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago, there was a man who heard a prophecy. It predicted that a great calamity was about to befall him. Panicked by what he heard, the man sought out the Dendro Archon in the hopes that she would bless him with the wisdom to help him escape his predicament. The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests and experienced tribulations of every kind. However, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. In despair, he thought, alas, the Archon has abandoned me. He then had no choice but to sorrowfully resign to his fate. Yeesh. Okay, and then what happened? And then, the calamity came. But to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his journey. By relying on his own strength, he managed to overcome the adversity. At that moment, a bird perched upon his shoulder. This bird was, in fact, an avatar of the Dendro Archon. She said, Oh, Archon Seeker, do you now understand? She and her wisdom have long been found by you. Along your journey, we were in every flower and blade of grass, every ray of sparkling sun and every breath of dancing wind. So long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. What an amazing story! Yeah, thanks for the story! Paimon feels all warm and fuzzy inside after that. <laughs> uh, in a way, it seems like this story is also one of the Dendro Archon's avatars. Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kusanali, can you tell us anything else about her? Of course. So did you two know that, uh... uh I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh, let's chat another day. What the fuck was- What the hell? Why is she sprinting? Hey, wait! Uh, what the heck just happened? I think it has something to do with those people over there. It looks like they're searching for someone. Hmm. 
Dinarzad was acting super nervous just now. I think they're looking for her? The Sphinx! We finally managed to find a lead about Lesser Lord Kusanali! We can't let them get in the way now. <sighs> Let's see if we can get rid of them. Then we can catch up with Dinarzad. Hey, have you two seen a brown-haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? We're looking for her. That sounds so fucking creepy. Just two big buff men. Have you seen this girl specifically? We're looking for her. Uh, did she have bandages wrapped around her wrists? Yes, that's her. Did you see which direction she went? Uh, yeah, she went that way. Quick, after her. <laughs> that should keep him busy for a while. So we sent them that way. So she must be this way. Yep, here she is. There you are, Dinyarzad. We thought you might have been long gone by now. Oh, it's you two. Oh, you startled me there. You can relax now. We threw those people looking for you off the trail. Uh, really? Oh, thank you so much. Unfortunately, I believe there's still more of them out there looking for me. What did you do? Uh-oh. Looks like there are some coming this way. Huh? More of them? Then what are we standing here for? Run! No, wait. I, uh... My body isn't in the best shape. Uh, it's difficult for me to run. Are you fucking for real? How about we find some place to hide? Okay, sounds good. There's a tavern on the other side of the port we can go to. They probably wouldn't expect me to hide in a place like that. Alright, let's move out. Stay behind us. We'll keep an eye out for anyone looking for you. This is gonna be one of those. Apparently not. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen a brown-haired girl wearing a purple top and long blue dress? Hey, what did you say? Oh yes, I have a granddaughter. I wasn't asking about your granddaughter. I asked if you had seen a young woman go by. His voice. Ah, uh, yes. She and her parents settled down in Port Ormos. I haven't seen her in a long time. Damn, I thought these doors automatically opened. Why are you suffering, Normia? What happened? Hello there! You are a nice looking character! My lady, who are these two? My lady? Now hold on! Uh, you are goals! Uh, They're travelers that I met on the street just a moment ago. They happened to notice that you were all searching for me, so they helped me hide. I see. In that case, you two should scram. There's nothing here for you. Uh, yeah, you're here. That's here for me. I'm... The aesthetic. Give it to me. Wait a sec. Who the heck are you? And why are you shooing us away? I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard. Here to see that she returns home safe and sound. Oh, then you're a really shitty bodyguard. Why would you let her out by herself? <sighs> My lady, let's get going. You've been gone for so long that your parents are worrying themselves sick. And if I refuse to go with you? Uh, I see now. It'd be easier for the both of us if you cooperated. 
But if you insist on not going, then I'll have to carry you like a sack of potatoes. I think Dea is from the desert. Because she's paid to do it. Stay out of this. You don't understand the situation. Sorry, my lady. Even though I'm your bodyguard, your parents are my employers. I have to answer to them. How much? Wait, what? How much Mora do I have to pay you to become your employer? So you never listen to my parents ever again. Double? A triple? Give me some time and I'll get that much. My lady, this isn't about Mora. I don't know what you think of us Aramites, but let me say this. I like Mora, but I'll never go against my principles. That's why I'm here looking for you. Sure, it's an order from my employer, but my conscience was also telling me it's the right thing to do. And knowing your health, carelessly running around like this is gonna hurt you. For the sake of those who love you, don't be stubborn. No, you're wrong. I'm aware of my limits, and I know what I'm doing. Honestly, the only people being stubborn right now are my parents. And I know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm at home or not. I still won't accept reality. And every time I bring this up, they just change the subject. Dia, you've been living with us a long time already. This should be old news to you. <sighs> Dia, I know it hasn't been easy for mother and father. And I'm grateful for everything they've done for me. But there's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to, because she saved me. The love I have for her is the same I have for my parents. This is my life and my last chance. So I want to do something meaningful. My lady, are you sure what you're doing now is meaningful? Yes, I'm sure. At least, it is to me. <sighs> Fine, I won't ask you to return home anymore. But let me make something very clear. I'm only doing this because I respect your determination, not because I agree with you. Thank you, Dia. <sighs> Sorry for being so rude just now. My nerves were acting up, and I even brought up your payment in such an offensive way. What the fuck do you mean? You said it normally. Uh, don't worry about it, my lady. I did say that I like Mora. Besides, that's our next topic of conversation. Today's little excursion caused such a ruckus that every single bodyguard at the estate was deployed. It wouldn't be easy to hide things from your old man. Since this definitely won't be your last escapade, here's a little tip. You should at least make it look like your room and things are still in order when you leave. Also, you'll need someone to cover you for when you're out and about. So, I'll let you hire me, my lady. This way, everyone wins. As for the pay, Let's say mm, half of what your father pays me. We can settle the bill when we return to the estate. She's so nice. Okay, deal. Yay! Looks like they've reached an understanding. <laughs> Dunyazard, are you all right? I'm fine, really. I, I just feel a little tired now that things have calmed down. <sighs> My lady, stop trying to look tough. We're already in a tavern, so let's rest up and grab some grub. I'm sorry for worrying you two. If you don't mind, I'd like for you to join us. Moon. Bro, I'ma block you, bro. You're, you're ruining my game chat. That's like three clips with your shit on top of it. Freaking Moon's typing in PlayStation chat and those are the notifications that are popping up in the upper left hand corner during the dialogue. I can't edit that out. So I'm just gonna pause right here to figure out what he wants because I've been reading your comments so far so I know what's happening but what 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 are you texting me for what you mean bruh
You texted Galactic. What do you mean never? Bruh. We're gonna continue with Lay Story. Just so you know, Moon, I'm looking at the Twitch chat. If I don't respond, that doesn't mean I didn't read it. I just don't want to talk during the dialogue. Because that is gonna ruin just it ruins the experience, bro. Just personally for me. Sure. After you rest up, we wanna hear more about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Bro, that was the last sentence. Well As I was saying before the sexy jazz came in, I just don't like talking during the dialogue, cause like imagine you're trying to listen into the game and ha! Well if it isn't Tia, haven't seen you in nearly half a year. Word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for the Homayani family now. <laughs> don't you find that kind of work boring? Nah, you get used to it. How about a menu over here? You got it, huh? Isn't this little Miss Homayani herself? <laughs> we don't get to serve personages like you very often. We'll be sure to prepare our very best. Thank you, sir, but there's no need. I don't have a lot of mora on me, and I really ought to save as much as I can. Uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. No need to break the bank. We'll eat whatever you order. Actually, hmm. She says she needs to say whatever she gets. I I understand what it means to save money, so don't worry about it. We'll pay for our own food. Wait, we're paying for ourselves now? Oh, Paimon kind of wanted to try something fancy, but we aren't exactly loaded. Guess Paimon will settle for something more. Where is the? Sorry, I talked during the dialogue. Where is the slap Paimon out the air button? Because she has way too much freaking... Whatchamacallit? I'm over here trying to make a good decision be selfless. Paimon's freaking hungry ass over here. We're paying for ourselves now? How about our coconut charcoal cakes? They're our signature snack, and they run cheap. Look, other customers over there are eating some now. Better get a fly swatter for Paimon's ass, bro. I swear, she would be talking. She be getting bold nowadays. Uh, they look kind of burnt and dry. Uh, Paimon will pass. Picky Paimon. Well, then that's a first. But you've cooked slimes before. Huh. What do you have against my slime dishes? After ordering, you continue chatting with Dunyardzard and Lesser Lord. Well. Never mind, don't matter. Nobody was interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. So, what made you want to follow her? Well, remember when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Even though I don't know how, I think I've actually seen her before. Huh? Really? Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends. And my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But even then, the Akasha didn't have any helpful information. So the Akasha is basically a primitive Google. Got it. My younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. One flare-up was so bad that I was in a semi-conscious state for several days. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. <laughs> Who are you? How do you know my name? Um, how do I explain this? You might not be able to understand, but actually, I know everything about you. 
Really? Oh, she looks so cute. Of course. I know that you're scared of thunder, that you hate taking medicine every morning, and that you love counting the petals on your mom's skirt. Wow, you really do know everything. Junior is odd. Is there anything you want? Want? Not really. I, I can't go anywhere or do anything. Huh? But aren't you a child? All children have wishes. Tell me what you want, and maybe I can make it happen. Then, uh, can you make my illness go away? Oh. I'm sorry. But I'm not powerful enough to do that right now. Then, can you be my friend? After that, the voice said, Okay, I'll be your friend. Although my body was suffering during those days, that voice encouraged me and told me many wondrous things. Beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Beyond the city was a lush rainforest. And beyond that was the wall of Samio. Deserts and all of Tibet. Once I finally made it through that bout of illness, I couldn't hear that voice anymore. I told my mother about it, but she said that I must have been dreaming. But I know that that voice wasn't a figment of my imagination. Before that, I had never heard of Tevat. So you believe the voice you heard was Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes, for sure. If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious about the outside world. Nor would I have learned how to read and enjoy so many books. That voice sparked a desire for wisdom. It had to have been the Dendro Archon. I've been hoping for a chance to repay her kindness. In fact, I was running around today to help prepare the Subzerus Festival for her. What's the Subzerus Festival? It's Lesser Lord Cusinelli's birthday, <gasps> which was the day that she was found by the sages. It's actually an old holiday that originally celebrated Greater Lord Rupinabata's birthday. When she passed away, the holiday eventually became a celebration of the Lesser Lord's birthday. I heard everyone was overjoyed when they welcomed her back to Sumeru. In those days, the festival was a huge deal. But because of the Academia's influence, people have gradually lost interest in the festival. The Academia actively participates in Sumeru's many holidays dedicated to Greater Lord Rupinabata. But when it comes to the Subzerus festival, forget any funding. They practically act like it doesn't exist. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Kusanali's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadabata's death. So they're reluctant to celebrate it. Aww, but that's awful. It is. It's absolutely terrible. Sure, the Greater Lord founded Sumeru, but hasn't Lesser Lord Kusanali been the one quietly protecting us for the past few hundred years? <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in public. Don't get too carried away now. I know that people over by the Grand Bazaar still hold the sub Festival to this day. But I hadn't met any of them before, so I was never able to contribute. But recently, I made a friend there who also follows Lesser Lord Kusanali. I gave her my savings because I want her to throw a wonderful festival this year. That's the least I could do for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hold on, my lady. Does this friend happen to be Nilu, the one who sends flowers to the estate? Yes, that's her. Mm, I saw her leaving the other day with a nervous look on her face. It seemed like she was hiding something in her arms. Did you give her something? Uh, yes. Uh, initially, I didn't have much more prepared, so I had Nilu sell one of my skirts. I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today and see how things are coming along. Dia, would you accompany me? Sure. That's quite the trip, though. I'll carry you. No, that would be too much, even for you. You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long it'll take us. And if anything happens to you, then I'd really never hear the end of it from your father. Can we come along too? Let us, uh, third and fourth wheel? But of course. And Nilu will be thrilled to hear there are more people interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hello friend, what will you be having today? If you can't decide, just order the lamb bad fish roll. The tableware in the tavern has just been replaced too. They're all brand new. That will be sure to cheer you up. I just want 
I, I just want the food. Yes, 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 yes. I knew it. Glamour. Star Shroom. Thank you very much. Interesting. All right. Can't catch me. That was a little odd. Just freaking. side now. Let me put in auto play real quick, sorry. <laughs> uh, not completely. Oh, and who are these two? Oh, meet the Traveler and Paimon, my two newest friends. They're visitors who just arrived at Sumera City and are looking for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. So you're followers from another land? Uh, truthfully, no. Oh, really? Well, that's okay. You're still invited to the Sabzeris Festival. By the way, Dunyarzad, we've already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. It looks spectacular, thanks to your generous contribution. You're very welcome. It's the only thing I could do. Do you still have enough Mora? She's gonna be a sword user, honestly. I'm a sniper. Is she a five star or a four star?
Five star or four star? Come on now, I'm curious. Excuse me. Actually, we keep going until you respond. Uh, probably. But don't sweat it. We've already finished renovating the stage. Come on, I'll show you. I don't know, but I believe Five Star because she has an animation for her super. But you know what? I'm gonna skip Tainari's banner then. Wow! This place is amazing! Not bad. <laughs> the last time I was here, the stairs were full of holes. The stairs were nothing. A little while ago, we discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge chunk of bark ready to fall off. Mr. Zubair was worried sick. We reported it to the Academia many times, but they never sent anyone to deal with it. We didn't want anything bad happening, so we were going to cancel all the stage performances. Why didn't anyone come to handle it? Oh, probably because it was the theater asking. The Academia looks down on performers like us. They probably think it would be best if the theater closed down completely. We can't let that happen, though. Not only would everyone involved in the theater go hungry, but then we wouldn't be able to hold the Subzerus Festival anymore. Thank the Dendra Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to patch up the tree, and we also gave the stage a much-needed makeover. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. And I can't wait to see you on the stage. You've been practicing so long already. It's almost time for your dream to become reality. <laughs> it's our dream. I'll do my best for the two of us. Milu, what are you going to be doing at the festival? She'll be dancing the dance of Subzerus, the most important performance at the Subzerus festival. Junior Zod, have you told him the origin of this holiday? I only told them about the Greater Lord and Lesser Lord so far. Okay, then I'll tell you two about how this holiday came to be. According to legend, the Sabzerus Festival was originally the Goddess of Flowers' birthday celebration for the Greater Lord. A long, long time ago, on one of Greater Lord Ruka Devata's birthdays, her friends threw her a celebratory banquet. Some of the gods got drunk. One started playing music, and the Greater Lord started singing, so the Goddess of Flowers began to dance. As she danced upon the grass, countless beautiful Padisaras began to bloom wherever she stepped. Those brilliant purple flowers became her dazzling stage. All the gods clamored, oh, if only time could stop at this very moment. Sounds like they had a great time. <laughs> that sounds somewhat bittersweet, yeah. Huh? Really? Oh, you probably mean because all the gods in this story are no longer alive. Although they aren't around anymore, they're preserved in our tradition of dance. This outfit I'm wearing is apparently based on how the goddess of flowers looked. Though we're just tiny people compared to the divine, we still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. No. Nilu, you of all people will definitely be able to convey our well wishes to the Dendro Archon. I also noticed that you went the extra mile and scattered Padisaras around the stage. <laughs> they symbolize the goddess of flowers, after all. It's just a shame that all the real Padisaras went extinct after her death. Yeah. The Greater Lord brought forth Padisaras in memory of the goddess of flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful purple. Thinking about the goddess of flowers dance makes me wish I could have seen it. If my stage were anything like that, uh, I'd be thrilled if I had just two real body sars on the stage. Uh, so, Traveler and Paimon, what do you think? Interested in the Sabzerus Festival? Will you two be coming? All of Lesser Lord Kusanali's followers will be there for her birthday. 
It'll be a good opportunity for you to learn more about her. Ooh, Paimon thinks that's a great idea! You sure it's not because you want it on the fun? Or, you sure it's not because you want to watch Nilu dance? Of course Paimon wants to watch! Those two things aren't mutually exclusive, you know! <laughs> so how about we all attend the sub festival together? Heck yeah, boy! That's not the option, but you know what I mean. Junior Zod, let me show you which stage decorations we've picked out so far. Traveler and Paimon, if that doesn't sound interesting to you, then feel free to explore the area. Everyone at the Grand Bazaar loves Lesser Lord Kusanali, and we're all looking forward to the Sabzerus Festival. In that case, we'll take a look around! Is this... This is the Archon Quest, huh? Whoa! What's with your yellow hair? And why do your clothes look so funny? Are you an Outlander? Yes, I am. Did you know that the Sabzerus Festival is about to happen? There'll be loads of fun things to do at the festival. But the best part is when Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, passes out candy to everyone! That's cute. Let me see that comment. I'm going to pull for at least five people during 3.0. I love her. I know Sino? Kino? And Candice are also next patch, but they are polearm users. I'm tired of polearms. That's a next patch? Damn. Huh. Revamping the stage for the festival couldn't have been easy, that's for sure. I bet this year's festival will be one to remember. I don't know much about the Grand Bazaar, but I do know that the residents here have a penchant for song and dance. <laughs> Two things that the Academia doesn't particularly approve of. Oh, and the perfume sold around here is a lot better than what you'll find elsewhere. The fragrances are longer lasting and they're gentler on your skin and... Uh, I mean, <clears throat> that's uh, what I've heard at least. Mm-hmm. Things are really shaping up, and there's a buzz around the festival this year. We're expecting people from all over to come by this year and buy things during the festivities. Don't be fooled into thinking that Sumeru City has the best of everything. Some festival snacks are only offered here in the Grand Bazaar. And when it comes to musicians, dancers, or singers, the Grand Bazaar's got the best of the best. Sure, those folks at the Academia might not like it, but what's a festival without song and dance? That's really interesting. So if everyone doesn't like the Academia, how come it has so much power? Ah, dancing at the sub -Zero's Festival. You know, I also danced when I was younger. As a child, I even asked my grandmother why we performed the dance for the Lesser Lord when it was originally done to honor the Greater Lord. My grandmother said that Greater Lord Rukadavata is a beloved deity and honored by all. And Lesser Lord Kusanali is too. If the Goddess of Flowers ever knew Lesser Lord Kusanali, then she would certainly have wished to be her friend and hold celebrations for her too. The Subzerus Festival has been losing its appeal over the years. Hmm. That is, until a wealthy benefactor stepped in this year and brought the festival back to life. I heard she forked out a lot of mora to make it all happen. Nilu, your outfit looks amazing. There's also something different about you from when we first met up. <laughs> I thought I'd add a little extra pizzazz to my dress for the festival. See? Wow, did you sew all that yourself? Uh-huh. Sewing is a fundamental skill for everyone in the theater company because we make all our own costumes. Did you know that Mr. Zubair not only can make costumes, but props too? <laughs> I've noticed that you can't keep your eyes off that crown over there. Would you like to try it on? <laughs> May I? Of course. The legends say that the goddess of flowers had beautiful horns on her head. 
So this crown was made to reflect that. Oh. Oh, Junior Zod, you look absolutely stunning with it on. It's like I'm looking at the goddess of flowers herself. I'm looking at a moment right now. I think I should not be here. Catherine? Walking around? Nunny? Well, I'll be damned. Huh. Come to think of it, Paimon's only ever seen her behind the counter at the Adventurers Guild. This is the first time we've ever seen her taking a break. Hey, Catherine! Huh? Oh, hey! It's the Traveler and Paimon! What's shaken? Whoa! Break time Catherine sure sounds a lot less formal than usual. Paimon was still waiting for her to say Ad Astra Abyssosk. Sure. <laughs> Standing behind the counter at the Adventurer's Guild doesn't require any complicated functions. But saying and doing the same old things over and over again can get pretty monotonous. Like watching the same Fontaine movie day after day. But take you two, for example. You travel across to Vat to enrich your lives and gain new experiences. Well, we enjoy traveling across to Vat and all that, but we're mainly looking for clues about her brother. Yes, and you should keep searching. Sometimes the answers we're looking for aren't necessarily at our intended destination. Instead, they're found along the way. Someone say something pretty similar recently? Uh, anyways, what brings you out here, Catherine? Are you also a fan of the Subzerius Festival? No, not particularly. I guess you could say that I'm loving the recent atmosphere here. If festivals bring happiness to everyone, then that's where their true value lies. Aww. It looks like it's about time for me to be heading back now. No, more Catherine taking a break. All right, we'll see you next time at the Adventures Guild. Oh, by the way, thanks for connecting us with the Aramites. We've already made some great friends in Sumeru City thanks to you. I'm sure you two will get along well with the people here. You've already been blessed by the element of Dendro after all. <laughs> see you around. Bye, Catherine. Damn. You will be missed. There's something really different about Catherine today. Hey, Traveler. Paimon. Oh, hey, Via. What's going on? I've got something to tell ya. My lady knows you're looking for ways to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali, and she's been trying to come up with a way to help you. Well, I have an idea that might help. Are you serious? We'd love that! It might not necessarily pan out, so don't get your hopes up too much. I'll need to take you two somewhere and ask someone some questions. What about Dunyazad? Uh, my lady is feeling a little worn out at the moment. Nilu's found a place for her to rest. After I take my lady home, let's meet in front of the Citadel of Regzar. Sounds like a plan! Let's head over to the Citadel of Regzar and wait for Dia! Nani, what happened to Normium? Uh, they probably went to bed. Yeah, my bad, I forgot to do the same. I was doing the story. I love her. Wait, no, I'm gonna pull for at least five people. 3.1. Okay, you just. Damn. Let me actually pay attention to the comments, because now I have no idea what you're saying Nani to. <sighs> we keep streaming though. Sorry, I'm late. It took some convincing for the master and mistress to believe that Miss Dunyarzad was only sitting in the port for a while because she was in a bad mood. Anyway, I guess I should be thanking you. I haven't seen Miss Dunyarzad that happy in a long time. 
It was you sure sounded Shit. a lot nicer than when we first met, Dia. Who would have thought you had such a soft spot for Junior's eye? No, I don't work tomorrow. It, it's called being a professional. I'm a bodyguard, and I work for whoever's paying. <laughs> Look, Dia's blushing. Yep, that's a blush if I've ever seen one. Ugh, listen, you two. I don't expect to be working for Miss Dunyarzad very long, but I hope to finish things on a positive note if possible. Let's cut the chit-chat and head into the Citadel. We'll see if the person I know has a way for you two to meet with the Lesser Lord. Chief. Ah, Dia. What are you doing here? And well, well. Didn't expect to see you three together. <laughs> I take it you all know each other already? Mm -hmm. We met this morning after the Adventurers Guild pointed us to Osbon for more info. No kidding. Hmm. So, where's Ruksha? I thought I'd help these two out by asking about the theft. Anything you can tell him? Rukshaw's gone over to the Academia. The Grand Sage recently ordered Sumeru City to begin bolstering its defenses. So people from all over have been called back to the city. <clears throat> Since you've already mentioned the theft, I suppose I might as well tell him what we know. Appreciate it, Chief. Uh, theft? Sorry, what the heck are you guys talking about? Just recently, the Academia lost something. And there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. This case might just somehow help you in meeting her. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look at it. But if you ask me, the case is more about the Academia than anything else. Let me fill you in. The Academia recently sent a convoy to pick up an important package from Aru Village. Word got out, and the convoy was robbed on its way back. The Grand Sage took the whole matter very seriously. Not only did he dispatch the Matra, but also enlisted our help in the search for leads. All we know so far is that whatever was stolen is currently in Port Ormos. You two have heard of Port Ormos, haven't you? It's the largest commercial port in all of Sumeru. You can travel there by leaving Sumeru City and heading south along the river. The Academia's grip isn't long enough to reach all the way to Port Ormos, so the city's a little more laid back. Meaning the population's also a mixed bag. You never know who you'll meet there. Apparently what was lost has a great deal to do with the Akasha, knowledge, and even the gods. I'm afraid I don't have any other details for you, though. If you're interested, maybe you can head to Port Ormos and ask around yourselves. If you want my advice, Try introducing yourselves as students of the Academia once you're there. Students of the Academia? And why should we do that? Are you serious, Chief? All the Academia students are in Sumeru City, you know. Why should they pretend to be students in Port Ormos? <laughs> if you're also interested, just go there and see what happens. Count me out. I've got plenty of work to do here for the Homayani family. And take it from me. If you two really do decide to visit Port Ormos, you best watch your backs. Let's just say that the Aramites there aren't nearly as friendly as those here in Sumeru City. There are even some extremists who go around shouting slogans like, Retake Sumeru for the Scarlet King! Word is that more and more are joining their movement. They're becoming a real headache for Chief and the others. You bet they are. The Scarlet King's been dead for thousands of years. Now they start spreading rumors of his return. Ridiculous. Not everyone's like you, Chief. Even the desert natives who abandon their homes in the wilderness still wish to have a god of their own. <sighs> well, Traveler, that's about all the information we have for you. Thanks, Dia. And you too, Osvan. Since we've gathered all we could for the moment in Sumeru City, let's head to Port Ormos and see what we can find next. Miss Dunyarzad is looking forward to seeing you both at the Subzerus Festival, so... Be sure to get yourselves back here in time for that. No, we won't forget. Good. Then we'll see you both at the Subzerus Festival. Uh, 
good old experience. There we go. Got a comment? Uh, you just do it the first act? Um, I guess so. Can't catch me. Try and get that sigil. useless. No, I scared the doggy. Well... This is this way, okay. As long as we're heading in the right direction. Ah, 
happy to oblige. Lucky today. Sam, who wants some of this? Can't catch me. That's his body freaking ascends up the mountain. Catch me! Attaboy! Wheel of life. Faster. Goodbye, working for a living. Hey, catch me! I gotta read the instructions again. Seen and unseen. When tri ship creatures are activated using Electro, they will unleash a true sense pulse that may be able to display the location of certain hidden things. I got recipes because I liked cooking in Genshin. Let's 
go. Time is again. You don't have what? Fuck you. You're muted. I'm kidding. Everything on to the next.
Faster? Okay, faster. What the fuck is that? Ruin Drake. A ruin machine that can absorb energy and hurl it back as an attack. The Ruin Drake Earth Guard can periodically release a dangerous torrent of energy and increase its own elemental resistance against the previous main type of elemental damage it suffered. When it is preparing to unleash this energy torrent, or when it is preparing for a special sprint attack, the core on its head will be exposed. Take this opportunity to attack the core, and you may be able to immobilize this creature and undo its elemental resistance boost. Well, fuck me, I'm dead. Life goes on. It's like I almost called it. Uh, oh my lord have mercy. Give me a chance. Oh. I forgot about the K. I forgot about the K. Damn. You know what? I, uh... Yeah. Got my ass handed to me. We'll explore that area later. There's a sigil right there. to get said sigil.
You give, you receive. No space left in artifact inventory. A lens capable of detecting the weathering, this special sort of seed mirror can be used to spot weathering zones that can that have yet to take shape. You can use this method to stop the creation or expansion of weathering ahead of time. These objects can also be activated using electro. Incoming. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing in a fucking weathering zone. As far as treasure is concerned. Even my cargo 
May even my cargo have been sheltered beneath death your great protection. And here I and here I was sure that they were lost. Lost for sure at the hands of these hilly churls. Again, seriously? Ah, uh, yes. These fellows are to me a nightmare inescapable. Oh my god. As you have seen, I am a traveling merchant. I am a traveling merchant from Fontaine, and all my goods are the latest and the greatest. But that is precisely why these louts always target me when I'm transporting goods. Previously, they even hid at the mouth of the main road, successfully stealing a batch of the latest apparel from Fontaine. And you know what? With my very own eyes, the mushroom caravan in front of me passes them by, safe and sound, right in front of their noses even. Do these trills just have it in for me or something? I mean, I'm all the way here in Sumeru now, you know. Oh my god, I don't want to read this. Even when I have finally gotten far enough away to look back at the scene of the crime, they had put all the clothes in a pile, looking to make a fire with which to barbecue some meat. Oh dear, those burned clothes could have sold for enough to buy loads of grilled meat. Even Paimon thinks that was a huge waste. To be honest, I cannot understand why these fellows keep chasing me as well, but thanks to you, I was able to protect my cargo this time. Yes, here's a token of my appreciation. Please accept it, my friend. You deserve it. Wait, that was a random event. Alright, well... Nice hit. Yes, sir. And I'm about to fight it. The so wakey wakey, it's time for school. Oh, that the giant robot statue? Yeah. La, la, la. Honestly, yes. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> What's wrong? Ch 
change the um I am on giant robot. Because it was a quest. He has a sigil in his eyeball. I take it. Match. Imagine the person who killed this thing. Strong as hell. This thing is long dead, bro. Probably a god. Advance in this house. Boing, boing, boing. Life goes on. Scatter. Nowhere to hide. Speed of light. Don't blink. Focus. I should be going this way for poor almost. <laughs> what sedges do I have? Fifteen. <laughs> oh, there's a chest over there, though.
What's going on? You're nasty. Like I haven't done anything nasty before, you're right, I'm the most cleanliest person on the planet, I don't know. The threats hmm? of your fate lie in my hands. What's the question? Up. Orders given, orders received. Is this an answer from this world? Oh, I did get them all.
Stop being in pain. Venture Egg 57. You're good. You're fine. was that? We were just like... We were staring at each other, basically. Deceased Duster Sore, multiple trauma wounds, lacerations, contusions of internal organs, hemorrhage. But the fatal injury the fa the fatal injury the fatal injury is the wound on the throat. Fractured hyoid bone a hyoid bone. Mechanical asphyxia, unable to ascertain the cause of death. Very scary.
after this, calling it a calling it a night. Come and have a good look yourself. Traditional spices of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict. But does the core of 30 care? <sighs> and that's not all. Did you know that... We should figure that out before doing anything else. Figuring that out could be crucial for the rest of our investigation here. Well, given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, time on bets we could find it in the market. Let's ask around and see what we come up with. We need to get that teleport waypoint. have all this unexplored fantastic all right after all that exploring plus commissions 160 so literally one pull after all that exploring Still better than nothing. Eight pulls in the bank. And call it a night. Thank you for tuning into the stream. <laughs>